this example, we'll use VSEPR theory to predict the shape of a methane molecule. So we draw the Lewis structure for a methane molecule, and here it is. Now, of course, this is a 2D representation of a methane molecule, when actually methane or all molecules exist in 3D. Okay, so we draw the Lewis structure, and then we count the number of negative charge centers. These are single covalent bonds. They count as one negative charge center. So there's one, two, three, four. Four negative charge centers. Next, we count the bonding pairs of electrons. A single covalent bond is a bonding pair of electrons. So one, two, three, four. Next, we count the lone pairs on the central atom. There are no lone pairs of electrons on the carbon atom. So that's zero. So, if you have four negative charge centers, four bonding pairs, zero lone pairs, the bond angle will be 109.5 degrees, and the shape is tetrahedral. So here's a 3D representation of a methane molecule. Each bond, between the bonds, there's a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. The shape is tetrahedral, and by taking this shape, the repulsion between the electrons in the bonds is minimized. So the next example is using the VSEPR theory to predict the shape of an ammonia molecule. Here's the Lewis structure for ammonia. So we'll count the number of negative charge centers. We have a lone pair of electrons, that counts as one. And we have three single covalent bonds, they count as one. So the total is one, two, three, four. So four negative charge centers. Next, we count the bonding pairs of electrons. A single covalent bond counts as one bonding pair, so one, two, three. And then we count the lone pairs. There's a lone pair of electrons around the central atom, which is nitrogen, so that's one lone pair of electrons. So if you have four negative charge centers with three bonding pairs, one lone pair, the bond angle is 107.8 degrees, and the shape is triangular pyramidal. So here's a 3D representation of the ammonia molecule. Because of the lone pair of electrons here, the bond angle is 107.8 degrees because of the repulsion between the lone pair of electrons and the bonding pair of electrons. So by taking this shape, the ammonia molecule minimizes the repulsion between the electrons, the lone pairs of electrons, and the bonding pairs of electrons. Okay, so next is using VSEPR theory to predict the shape of a water molecule. So we need to count up the number of negative charge centers. Here we have two lone pairs of electrons and two single covalent bonds, so that's a total of one, two, three, four negative charge centers. Bonding pairs of electrons, we have one, two. Next is lone pairs of electrons, one, two. So if we have four negative charge centers with two bonding pairs of electrons, two lone pairs of electrons, the bond angle between these two bonds here is 104.5 degrees, and the shape is bent. Here's a 3D model of a water molecule, and by taking the bent shape, the molecule minimizes the repulsion between these lone pairs of electrons and the bonding pairs of electrons. Next is the shape of the BF3 molecule, which is boron trifluoride. Here's the Lewis structure. So we'll count up the number of negative charge centers around the central atom. So we have one, two, three, three negative charge centers. Next is the number of bonding pairs around the central atom. There are one, two, three. Next is lone pairs around the central atom. There are zero lone pairs of electrons. So if we have three negative charge centers with three bonding pairs, zero lone pairs, then the bond angle, this bond angle here, and of course this one here, and this one here, the bond angle is 120 degrees and the shape is trigonal planar. Now this boron atom here, you might notice, 
only has six electrons in its outer shell, okay? So it doesn't follow the octet rule. Boron is a good example of an atom that doesn't follow the octet rule. That means it doesn't need eight electrons in the outer shell. In fact, here, boron only has six electrons in the outer shell and it's stable. Next is the shape of a CO2 molecule. Here we have the Lewis structure for CO2. So we'll start by counting up the number of negative charge centers around the central atom, which is carbon. A double bond counts as one negative charge center. So we have one, two. So that's two negative charge centers. Next, we'll count the number of bonding pairs of electrons. A double bond counts as one bonding pair. So one, two. And then lone pairs of electrons around the central atom. We have zero lone pairs. So if we have two negative charge centers with two bonding pairs and zero lone pairs, the bond angle here is 180 degrees and the shape is linear. So the CO2 molecule takes the linear shape to minimize the repulsion between the bonding pairs of electrons. This table shows all the bond angles for standard level chemistry. We start with a number of negative charge centers, then the number of bonding pairs, then the number of lone pairs, then the shape, and then the bond angle, and then finally an example.